all right welcome back we are out and about adventuring today we are hitting the mount lofty botanic gardens very very beautiful we are in spring at the moment it's going to be a nice 26 degrees ignore the fact i'm wearing a jacket but it will warm up so i'm not putting them back on too bright <laughs> so we are based at Harndorf at the moment so from Harndorf it's about 15 kilometers so about a 20 minute drive and then from Adelaide central Adelaide city it is about 17 kilometers again about a 20 to 25 minute drive so it's not too bad so we're going to go and have a look around the gardens and we'll show you how beautiful it is this is just one of a few around Adelaide there is another one in Adelaide that's pretty specky as well but Mount Lofty will take you up there as well and that is one of the big mountains <laughs> you can see everything you can see Adelaide we're going to take you up there too but for now let's go start out at the Mount Lofty Botanic Gardens and but first there's a coffee van right out the front so we're going to go and have a look at that first and then go and have a look around We're in the Woodland Garden. I have no idea. Oh, we're in B. B, 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 B. No idea. Up no here. Idea. We're lost. Let's backtrack. We went up there. There's plenty of people out and about today. So, just a little bit more information about Mount Lofty for you. So, well, firstly, it's free to get in here. There was a car park charge. It used to be a car park charge. At the moment, it's not there, so I don't know whether they've changed their minds and not charging, but it's a beautiful spot. It's free at the moment, but it's free entry. No coffee van there this morning, but sometimes they do have one here. So it is free to come in here. Beautiful spot to just bring a picnic lunch by the lake. As you've seen, there is some beautiful spots around here to sit relax enjoy the day you could be here for an hour you could be here for three hours it is a very nice spot 
few other things I forgot to say too is that they do weddings here and they also have accommodation so just google the Mount Lofty house and that's supposed to be pretty pretty beautiful it is expensive but it'd be well worth it especially for a special occasion anniversary birthday or a wedding so yeah just check it out we're just going to go and do a bit more of a walk through head back to the car park and then we're going to head up to Mount Lofty Summit and have a coffee your turn Tori mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. I'm gonna try and take a picture of it. Oh, I see. Oh, that's that's good, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, well, that was just a brief overview of the uh, Mount Lofty Botanical Gardens. Um, yeah, that was just a brief overview. You, you can do heaps more here, uh, heaps more walks to see more plants and all that sort of stuff. But uh, the gradient is quite high in, in some parts. You know, the, the pathways go up, you know, quite steep. So we just picked the easiest sort of walks today. You, you kind of like get a gift of what the, the gardens are all about. But um, it's one of those things that you could spend an hour here or you could spend the whole day here. And and we're probably a little bit early in the season for all of the flowers to come out, um, but it's still spectacular. It's a top spot to come. So I'd highly recommend just taking your time. You can bring a picnic lunch if you want. Um, you know, like Danielle said, it's not far from Adelaide or where we're staying in Harndorf. So why not just come out for the day and just chill? It doesn't cost you nothing except maybe for the parking. Um, the parking's not working here today, so it didn't cost us anything. So apart from the parking, it's free and it, it's an awesome scenery. So definitely come and have a look. Now, since there's a bit of walking, we gotta go and get probably a coffee. So we'll go and take you up to Mount Lofty Summit. There's a cafe up there. And uh, the view up there is absolutely spectacular of all of Adelaide. It's one of the highest points in Adelaide. So let's go and have a look, sit back, relax, have a coffee. Mount Lofty Summit, let's go and have a look. to the two bucks it used to be. $5.20. The flat rate goes for 12 hours. Oh, gee, that's a bit rough, isn't it? Well, hopefully we can pay it forward to someone.
coffee time. It's hot. So it's hot. Good. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bad. All right. Yeah. What do you got, kid? Kids, what do you got coming? Chippy. Chippy. They're expensive. <laughs> what do we got here, kitty? Chippy. 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 Yes, Mum's testing one. All right. There you go. Good. And then get your hand. I'm out of the way. And there's, <laughs> there's the, there's the scone. <laughs> Beautiful. Chips good. Yeah. And the coffee's good. Yeah, also very hot. Right, so today we are in Gamaraka, which is around about half an hour from Handel. And one of the highlights of Gamaraka is the big rocking horse. Um, it's a good tourist spot, the kids can go and climb it. Let me quickly show you. Yeah, so that, that sucker weighs about 25 tons, uh, stands about 18 meters tall. Um, and I reckon it was built in around about 1981, I reckon it was. And that's when it got opened up so people could come and climb it and do that. But I believe the toy factory here was built in the 1970s. So um, I used to come here as a kid and uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, the first stages of climbing it is okay. But then when you go up sort of like to the to the neck, that's where she uh, she starts to get a little bit not hairy, but you know the the steps get a little bit narrower and narrower. So, um, but uh, I did read that the, the CFS used to actually use this as a fire watch lookout. So, a bit of useful information for you. So, a uh, big rock, rocking horse, around about half an hour from Handorf definitely take the kids here to, to climb the rocking horse and they've also got um, a farm area like with kangaroos and everything like that to uh, to go and explore so entry cost uh, is around about four bucks each I think and uh, and also to go to go win it costs a little bit extra uh, to obviously feed the animals all right, so let's go and have a look at the big rock. Two thousand six hundred and eight. Where's the say that? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's a direct line though. That's. I think it's a little bit more than that. Just a couple. Well, two hundred and thirty-nine k's. Yeah, that's going straight across yeah. the water. Yeah. Three hundred and four. Yeah, Mildura. Oh. We might be going to Mildura soon. That'd be in another episode. Oh. It's pretty cool. And that's all overseas stuff. Hong Kong, 7,237. Yeah. Peacock. Oh, Peacock. That's a big daisy, that one. Come on, baby, you coming? Spread your feathers. You want to come in the back of the car? No, Daddy. No? Oh, I reckon it, it tastes pretty yummy. So, you, can, you get a big fine. Yeah, you, you, you can pluck the feathers. Oh, what's this? A cafe? Oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, you like your horses, don't you, Tori? That's pretty cool. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Come on, yeah, wait now. Hello. Hello, Cocky. Hello, Cocky. Hello. Oh, hey, little baby. Hello. Oh, you want to come in the back of the car? And take you home? No, then we can't do national parks. Mm. All right. It's so cute. Let's go and get the ticket to get into this place. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Cookie. 
Yeah. They usually good, but no worries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello again. It's Loki. <laughs> it's one of them for Loki. <laughs> Loki. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, what hello. are you doing? Me too. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Where's the white alpaca? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the white one. Oh, it's look. It's not here. Beautiful. He's, He's got no eyes. They just want food. That's what they yeah. want. He fit in the back of the car. He's beautiful. Hang on. <laughs> hey, he's nice and soft. Do you want to feel him? Tori, you want to give him a pat? Yeah. He's beautiful. Look. Oh. They're babies. Oh, he's beautiful oh, and he's so gentle. Oh, you're disgusting. He <laughs> just, just sneezed on my just legs. Sneezed on you. <laughs> he wants food, baby. Man, you you need oh, he loves the other ducks. We were first. Yeah. So gentle. You need a haircut, mate. They didn't have to run for it before all these ducks come. Are you scared, Tori? You're all right. It's just because they're all here at once. <laughs> he's not going to hurt. I don't have any. I expected you to cry, not Tori. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's following me. All they want is food. All they want is I'm the food. Put food away. No food. All gone. All you know, gone. Yeah, no. Nah, I, I know it's in your pocket. <laughs> I can hear the rattle. No food. All gone. All right. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? Kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, a bit of a scratch. Oh look, aren't you beautiful? He's gorgeous. Oh, here comes the duck. Uh oh. Ducky! Ducky! Oh, quack, 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 quack. Come I'll take you home. You are a pig. Quack, quack, and you're quack, a big quack, quack. Get out of it. Right. Quack. I'm paving the rest for me. Help me. What are you doing? There's a black one. Hello. Hello, babies. Hello, babe. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're absolutely beautiful. All right, you feed the kangaroo. I don't want you. Good job. There we go. Here's the babies. Oh, the babies. Put your hand out like this. Kangaroo. See? Just get oh, down with look. me. Come down with me. You've got a kangaroo right behind you there. Oh, really? Is he going to try and mount me? No. Where are you, mate? Hey. There you are. What are you doing? <laughs> you want to give them what are you doing? They won't, won't hurt you. They won't hurt you. You wouldn't think they're travelling most of Australia. <laughs> Don't try and eat the GoPro. Alright, this one just tried to put its paws up on me. Oh, Alright. Kids should be tougher than this. Come on. Feed him. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Story pony. Two ponies. What are you doing? It's a nanny noo noo. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's that sound he's making? Well, that's who he's talking. What's the sound that they make, emus? <laughs> a lot of meat on their legs. Mm. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. His feathers are hiding it. Yeah. yeah that's that's such an ugly sound they make. Yeah, I reckon he'd fit in the back of the car. No, you're not having him. Yeah, I want to name you as a pet. Don't go near the pet because he's dead. <laughs>
Oh, look at the peacock. Don't you just want to pull his feather out? Uh -huh. So you can't do that. What are you doing, baby? You okay? Hmm? Oh, look, aren't they beautiful? You want to give them some feed? I don't want to feed the horses. Why? Are you scared? No. Yes, you are. No. You're scared. No. I no, love put... that. Do you want some? You're okay. They're a bit more than the kangaroos, but he... Uh -huh. They're gentle. Look, I'll show you. He even eats like you, Tori. <laughs> Just put your hand there and he'll eat it out of your hand. Just put your hand flat like that. Why don't you feed this it's one, not. Tori? We'll go give the black one one. Oh, right. he's a peacock. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Beautiful. Oh, I don't know. They've got pokey beeps and you don't want to feed the ponies. Oh. Where do I pull the Just chuck it on the ground. Just chuck it on the ground. Oh, the petting zoo. It is. I've got little chairs that the kids can sit on. Oh. Oh, Hello. Pigs. What are you Dad, doing? Oh, there's a guinea pig. There's guinea pigs. Guinea pigs and there's a red-eyed one. A red-eyed one. That's an evil one. He'll get you. Okay, I'm first. Oh. Yeah. All right. So what 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 did you think of it? What did you think of doing this? Hunting all the animals. You reckon it was good? Yeah. The best part was feeding. It was a little um, bit overwhelming. The kangaroos. You like feeding the kangaroos? I think it was a bit overwhelming for them at the start because they all the goats and the alpacas just come for you. Yeah. But I mean, we are quite here early in the morning too. So it probably would have been their first feed for the day. So they were probably a little bit excited. But you liked it? It was funny when the alpacas like ran and played with Yeah. All right. We're going to go and have a look at the toy factory. Toy factory? Yeah, toy factory. All of these toys are made by hand. They are? Yeah. Yeah, they're not made in like a Machines. factory. Well, it is made in a factory. A toy factory, but this people made by hand. They don't use machines. They don't use machines, that's right, it's all done by hand.
All right. So how much is it to uh, to climb the rocking horses? Two bucks. Two each bucks each. Person. All right. Now you don't have to go up the top if you don't want to. All right. But you do have to go to the first platform, all right, at least. Or the second. Well, we've got to get our $2 worth. If it's not good, give me my money back. <laughs> if it's not good, get your money back. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. What? All right, so all children 14 years and under must be accompanied by an adult. You're right. Did you hurt yourself? There's an insurance claim. All right, off you go. Let's go. Let's go, D. D. You going all right, D? All right. You only have to go up there. That's all right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got to climb a ladder. Get right up the top. All right, sometime today would be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm behind you, let's go. I'm behind you, let's go. Do you reckon dad would fit in there? Yes. You reckon? Yes. Oh, well, there we go. Come around over here. We're under its belly. Yeah, come on, let's go and have a look right. around here. Oh, remember you did the, the Valley of the Giants where you went on top of the trees? That was a lot oh, higher than no. this. Okay. You're probably freaking her out because you can see no. over the top. Dear, you want to go up? No. Why not? I'm scared of heights. You're scared of heights, eh? Yeah, right. There you go. Now the rocking horse doesn't move. Okay. All right. You going up? So this is how you get no, up. No, you stay here. I'm going to go down the bottom with Tori and I'll take your photo standing up. Okay. You okay up there, Dad? Yeah. Oh, it just goes up more levels. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. That's that. So also that's your way down. Up only. Oh, look, we're nearly there. All right. Not a bad view of Adelaide Hills. Hello down there. Oh, and then you go up to its head. Smile, you won't be able to see me smile from here. Let's go up to its head. All right. Here we go, right up to its head. Oh yeah, right up there. Oh, beautiful view. I can see why the CFS used it as a uh, fire watch. Looking over all over the hills there. That's pretty cool. All right, all right, time to go back down. If you want me to chuck the GoPro down, do you reckon you can catch it? Yeah, it should be right. We need a new GoPro anyway. <laughs> all right, let's go. Ah. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> well, if you're after a cheap day out, in Adelaide Hills, the Gummerack come to Gummeracker, the giant rocking horse. 
great. You've already said you've already done the prices. Yeah, I've already said the price. So it's four bucks to get in. Four bucks each to get in. And how, how much was it to actually get into the, to feed the animals? Yeah, that was four dollars. Oh. It was four dollars to get in. Yeah, each. right. Okay. Four, eight. Yeah, plus, and two bags of food each. It was 20 bucks. 20 bucks, yeah. So the bags of food is two dollars each, yeah? Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. Right. So it's 20 bucks, which allows two kids to go in and just what you make it really. Well, it's you one can of those spend 10 things. 10 minutes in there, or you could spend yeah. half an hour or an hour. Like they've got a new little enclosure in there where you can um, uh, pat and hold guinea pigs. It was closed when we were in there, but maybe we got here too early. But yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, it's pretty good. And then Rocking Horse, I think it's two bucks to climb. That's just to help keep, keep it restored. Yeah. It's been like that for years. When we first came here, when Holly was only like one. And that's like 10 years ago it was two bucks so nothing's changed yeah. even the entry to feed the animals so it's a really good day out they've got a cafe on site as well they've got that wooden toy factory as well as other things in there so, and it's not overly expensive no nah, no nah, it's pretty good like if you just want to get out for the day it's a and cheap day out. it's a cheap and you don't have a lot of coin on you it this is it's a cheap day you could bring you could bring a picnic lunch too you don't have to buy food from the cafe but that yeah. option is there yeah and they've got like a little play enclosed area there for the kids as well yep so now oh, that's good so what did you think about the rock and horse what was your best part hmm. feeding candy feeding the kangaroos what about you d feeding the kangaroos but and having the rock and yeah. And, well, I, well, I'm gonna say everything because I liked everything. I, I liked, like everything. You know, even even when I was a little kid, I never climbed right up to the top of the rocking horse. Mm -hmm. So I understand why you didn't want to. So, now, nah, rocking, huh? You climbed up to the head. I climbed up to the head and I gave it a big kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rocking horse at Gumaraka. Come and check it out. Top spot.